Okay, so if you didn't expect the leaks to come out this week because of the holiday break, well, you're not alone because I didn't expect it either. But nonetheless, we got it, and holy cow, it is crazy. Also, for anyone wondering why I didn't make a chapter review last week, I did. I just made it private since 10 minutes after uploading the video, I realized that I got a major detail wrong. Not that I care to be perfect all the time, but, you know, given some people watch my reviews to help understand more about the series, then yeah, I just didn't think it would be right for me to keep the video while it spreads misinformation. Okay, so the first spoiler begins with Sukuna assessing Higuruma. More than the sword, what caught Sukuna's eyes was the suspension and resumption of the effects using curse techniques. So if you're a bit confused by that, Scan PS translations actually give a bit more clarification here, where it basically explains that Sukuna is surprised at how Higuruma could use and stop using domain amplification when switching to using his curse technique, because normally when domain amplification is activated, it will deactivate your curse technique. However, the level of Higuruma's Jujutsu manipulation is the same as Sukuna's, where when they both use domain amplification, instead of canceling the usage of their curse techniques entirely, they can just pause it or stop it. Example is during the Gojo vs Sukuna fight, when Sukuna used domain amplification while having the Dharma Chakra wheel active. Using amplification didn't cancel the entire progress of Maharaka's adaptation, it just temporarily paused it, thus showing the wheel being shadowed, then continued the progress of the technique when he was done using amplification. And yeah, this just further goes to show that Higuruma's potential, he really could have been in the top tiers of the verse had he was given more time to properly develop and grow as a sorcerer, because having the same cursed technique manipulation as Sukuna in the early stage he was in is just absurd. This leads Sukuna to acknowledge Higuruma, saying, you are Higuruma Hiromi, right? But as as he says this, Yuji catches up to the both of them, but the building they were in instantly gets destroyed. The slashes almost reach Higuruma, and this attack from Sukuna reminds me of the spiderweb cleave attack when it collapsed the entire surface, kind of similar to this, but I guess on a larger scale. Yuji tries to punch Sukuna, but he then gets a hold of Yuji and sends nets of slashes on Yuji's chest. Sukuna disdainfully tells Yuji, when will you ever understand? You truly are boring. There's nothing interesting about you, and I've always been curious about this feeling with Sukuna because it almost sounds disingenuous. Like, I know he's called Yuji boring before, I know he's seen Yuji with disgust many times, but even when Yuji hit him a couple chapters ago, you know, how it allegedly shocked his soul, or the very concept of Yuji caging Sukuna as a vessel, like, come on, Sukuna, are you being dishonest with yourself? Because if you're not, then you gotta give our boy Yuji at least some credit. I mean, it's kind of funny at the same time because he He's acknowledged everyone but Yuji, Hikaruma, Maki, Ishigori, Kashimo, etc. So it's definitely setting up a future where Yuji, by the end of the series, he will make Sukuna eat his own words. As the building falls down, Higuruma tries hitting Sukuna with the Executioner's Sword, but Sukuna just casually dodges and even manages to punch him in the face. Sukuna begins the chance and sends a powerful dismantle attack on Higuruma. He proceeds telling Higuruma to go heal himself. This is kind of interesting because Sukuna is so impressed by Higuruma's skill and potential that, you know, he expects or kind of believes in Higuruma to achieve reverse curse technique. Because yeah, his right arm is is completely sliced off, and Sukuna says that he will cut off his head next, so, you know, you better learn RCT at this very moment or else you'll die, and yeah, this is the perfect example of Sukuna playing with his food or just playing with those that seem interesting to him because he's obviously interested or at least fascinated by Higuruma's skill and potential. Higuruma tells himself that he should die after fulfilling his role, but then Sukuna gets attacked by a piercing blood. Now, okay, this would obviously mean that Chozo is okay, or, I mean, Chozo would be okay regardless, but this piercing blood could have, and it, I think it's most likely, was fired from Yuji, since, you know, Yuji has been hinted to have the blood manipulation technique earlier when he thanked 
thanks Noritoshi for teaching him since Chozo sucks at teaching and yeah, what does Noritoshi and Chozo have in common? Blood manipulation. Moving on, Higuruma manages to learn RCT in that instant, regenerating his right arm and attacks Sukuna. Quick thought, but with the narrator stating in the last chapter that Higuruma's skill and potential rivals Gojo, it's correct or it's facts because Gojo, at the brink of death, he was able to tap into the core of cursed energy and unlock reverse cursed technique that way. So same thing with Higuruma, he's on the brink of death and yeah, he's now achieved the capability of using reverse cursed technique. The next page shows Higuruma's executioner sword piercing Sukuna's arm. However, Sukuna had already cut off his wrist before Higuruma pierced it with the sword. So wow, okay, he kind of pulled a Toto where Sukuna knew Higuruma was going to hit one of his hands, so he instantly cut that hand off prior and Sukuna says you're okay at best to Higuruma and grabs a hold of him. We then see Higuruma wincing in pain as Sukuna slashes starts to appear on his face. Ah guys you know the holidays are supposed to be jolly so why the heck is Gege trying to make it depressing? But just as Higuruma gets completely slashed he throws his sword up in the air to which Yuji grabs a hold of by arriving behind Sukuna and this is crazy because you Yuji, we saw his chest getting sliced up, so now that he's come back with his chest supposedly healed, this means either one, someone healed Yuji, or two, Yuji healed himself via using reverse curse technique, and if that's the case, then okay, you know how we saw him switch with Kusakabe's body during the time skip, and Kusakabe was like, Yuji, get the gist of it already, or something like that, then it kind of adds the, the possibility that maybe Yuji, he can obtain the different abilities of people via switching to that person's body and learning the gist of their, you know, instinctive curse techniques or jujutsu. So like my brain is kind of thinking that Yuji, maybe he switched bodies with Shoko during the time skip and was able to eventually learn reverse curse technique that way because Shoko's body is a body that has already tapped into the core of cursed energy, thus making it easy for Yuji's mind to learn it when being in her her body. Or maybe Yuji was just able to tap into the core of cursed energy himself during the time skip. I don't know. I kind of like the Shoko pathway personally because that would breed the idea of Yuji having multiple abilities like the potential blood manipulation. Anyways, the next spoiler says Yuji watches as Higuruma begins to fall and remembers Nanami's final moments when he said, I'll leave the rest to you. Damn, that, uh, that hits hard because, okay, first of all, Higuruma was always very similar to Nanami. So for him to entrust Yuji with the rest from here, giving him the sword and even smiling at him, it's similar to Nanami entrusting Yuji with Mahito during Shibuya. And I think it's an amazing parallel because it clearly shows Yuji's growth and development as a sorcerer, right? Because the first time this happened with Nanami, Yuji was enraged and he felt like everything was on him. He, you know, blamed himself. He thought he needed to be punished, thought he needed to die. When now in this moment. I mean, it also goes to show how impactful Toto was as a mentor to Yuji because it was Toto telling Yuji what it means to be a Jujutsu sorcerer, right? When your comrades die, you don't think about their deaths or how them dying was somehow your fault. No, you think about what they entrusted you with in their final moments and how you as a Jujutsu sorcerer can carry on their will. So I like how with Higuruma dying and giving Yuji the sword, instead of Yuji losing his cool like before in Shibuya, Yuji continues his role and stabs Sukuna with the Executioner Sword saying, I am a Jujutsu Sorcerer. That's where the spoilers end and like I said, I thought that was a beautiful depiction to show Yuji's growth and development. Now, because I'm recording during the holidays, I didn't even expect the spoilers to come out today. Yeah, I was actually in a family gathering, so while I don't have the time to go in depth or even say my thoughts on what's going to happen in the next chapter, you can expect me to do that in my chapter review video coming out this weekend. Also, very quickly, this is not a sponsor, but some of my friends and I have created a sports content media page. So if any of you guys are sport fans like myself, if you follow the NBA, MLB, martial arts, NHL, football, whatever, then we really appreciate if you can follow our Instagram page called Sports Strike. I'll leave it in the description. We kind of just started the page and we've also created a YouTube channel where we 
plan to make videos such as like top 10 players, ranking videos, mock trades, discussions, playoffs, all that good stuff in the future. So if that interests you, then you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and or follow the Instagram for post and reels. Once we get 100 followers on Instagram, we'll actually create a DM group chat and interact with people, talk about what's been going on recently in any sports, uh, send messages to each other, updates, post. So like I said, if you follow sports, we'd really appreciate the, uh, the growing support. As yeah, again, sorry for having to cut it short since I'm really busy on the holidays. I hope you guys had and continue to have a great time with your family and friends throughout the rest of the year. As yeah, I'll catch you guys next time with my chapter review coming out this weekend. Peace.